Hello? Um, in this video, we have implicit differentiation naman. So, before we proceed, let's discuss first um, explicit versus implicit functions. Okay. Um, explicit versus implicit. Okay. Listen carefully. Ang explicit class is that when the dependent variable y, okay, or that is your f of x, can be, read, um, can be written explicitly in terms of its dependent, var independent variable x. Okay, for example, y is equal to x squared minus x plus 1. Paganon. y is equal to the square root of x plus 1. So, ibig sabihin class, yung dependent variable y natin, um, nakaayos na siya. Okay, can be written explicitly in terms of its dependent variable or itong mga input natin na x. Okay, that's for explicit um, function. Ang implicit function class, if we cannot rewrite it in this way. Okay, so kumbaga, it composes of many variables. Example, um, x squared y minus y squared equals 3, mga ganyan class. So, or x, y plus y equals uh, y squared na lang to. x, y is y squared equals x minus 1. Or also, x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Okay? These are implicit functions. Um, as if you can see the difference class, Yung explicit, nakaayos siya. Okay? And then, to implicit natin class, hindi natin pwedeng isulat si y. <clears throat> okay? Explicitly in terms of its, um, um, in terms, explicitly in terms of x. Okay? So, that's their difference. Explicit versus implicit. Now, class, meron din siyang derivatives. Yung pagkuha ng derivatives sa implicit, <clears throat> excuse me, Walang pinagkaiba doon sa pag-solve natin sa derivative doon sa explicit functions. Okay? So, yun ang gagawin natin sa video na ito. Solve natin ang derivative ng implicit functions. So, una class, ito na lang din ang mga isasolve natin. Okay? Itong given functions here. Implicit functions. So, we start. Number one, we have your x squared y minus y squared equals 3. Okay, walang magbago ha? Given x squared y class, okay, so x squared is one term, okay, and then I one function, and then y is another function. Ang gawin mo dyan class is parang nagmultiply sila. Okay, so that means you apply product rule there. Ang u ko dito ay si x squared, ang v ko ang yung y. So still you apply u dv plus v du. So u ko, so u dv plus v du, wag ka lang mawawala dyan, u x squared, derivative ni y class is y prime. Okay, ang hanapin natin dito is find y prime. Okay? So, ang derivative ni Vico is y prime. Nakuha? Next. Plus, Vico class is y, derivative ni u, which is x squared, that is baba, copy the base, 2x. Minus, y squared, baba, copy the base, which is your y, derivative ni y is y prime. Okay? So, ganun siya. So, baba, copy the base, minus 1. Then, derivative ni y is y prime. So, always ang derivative ni y is y prime. Equals, um, derivative ni constant 3, 0. So, ang hinahanap natin is y prime. Ayusin lang natin siya. So, lahat ng may y prime dito sa left. Lahat ng walang y prime dito sa right. So, x squared y prime. Then, ito. Negative 2y, y prime equals, ito class, i-transpose natin sa kabila. So, magiging negative siya. Ayusin ko na siya. Ilagbas ko sa numerical coefficient. 
then ayusin ko yung arrangement nung, nung variables, unahin ko yung mas mauna sa alphabet, which is x, so magiging negative 2xy. Okay? And then what's next? Ilabas natin ang common, which is y prime. So y prime, so x squared minus 2y equals negative 2xy. All over x squared minus 2y. So, divide ko siya sa x squared minus 2y both sides. Parang may iwan lang sa left eye yung y prime natin. So, x squared minus 2y. Cancel. So, ang y prime natin class ay negative 2xy all over x squared minus 2y. Okay? Okay? So, that is for the implicit differentiation. Number 2, that is xy plus y squared equals x minus 1. You try to pause this video, okay, and then you solve this one. Then, balikan mo pag nasolve mo na. Compare mo yung solution mo. Okay? Okay, so let's solve. Still class, product rule ang i-apply natin sa xy. Ang u ko dito ay si x, ang v ko ay si y. So, pag product rule, u dv plus v du. Okay? So, u, x, derivative ni v, which is your y, y prime. Plus y, derivative ni x is 1. So, no need to write. Okay? Plus, derivative ni y squared so that is baba 2, copy the base, y minus 1 is 1. Derivative ni base, which your y is y prime. Okay? Equals, derivative ni x, 1. Derivative ni negative 1, 0. So no need to write. And then, we simplify lahat ng may y prime dito sa left, lahat ng wala sa right. Okay? So x y prime plus 2y y prime. Equals 1, transpose ko tong y, lagi ko sa kabila, magiging negative y. So, ilabas ko si y prime. So, you have x plus 2y equals 1 minus y. I will divide um, both sides by x plus 2y. x plus 2y para maiwan lang si y prime. So, ang y prime is, or the first derivative of this implicit function is, 1 minus y all over x plus 2y. Okay? So, yung number 3 natin, we have your x squared plus y squared equals 4. Kunin natin yung kanyang um, first derivative. So, that's number 3. x squared plus y squared equals 4. Plus natin kanti. Okay? So, ano ang derivative ni x squared class? Baba, copy the base, minus 1, derivative ni x is 1. Okay? Plus y squared. So, baba, copy the base, minus 1, derivative ni y, y prime. Equals derivative ng constant that is 0. Okay? So, you have your 2yy prime equals, ilagay ko sa kabila si 2x maging negative 2x. All over 2y, all over 2y, makancel ngayon si 2y. So, ang natira is y prime is equal to, itong negative 2x all over 2y class, pwede natin i-cancel si 2 kasi kaman sa kanilang dalawa. Okay? So, negative x all over y. Okay? That is your y prime. Um, sige, para maganda tignan sa board, gawa tayo ng number 4. Um, uh, xy equals 36. Oh. First derivative, so ito class, you div power rule pa rin kasi we have your xy. So magiging u x derivative ni y is y prime. Plus v, your y derivative ni x is 1 equals derivative ni 36 is 0 so xy prime is equal to transpose ko sa kabila magiging negative y so all over x all over x cancel cancel y prime is equal to your negative y all over x ok 
Okay? Sa next video, um, higher order derivative naman ng implicit function. Kung meron kayong hindi na gets, just message me. Okay?